All right, so now that we have our uh, square D electrical panel put in the wall, we've got it in a two by four wall into the garage here. We have all of our number 12 and number 10, and we have a number six wire running in. Uh, we ran it to our panel location. And then we have this uh, aluminum service entrance cable that we've ran into the panel as well, rated at 200 amps, and it's a 200 amp panel. Um, now that we've got all, that all done, we, we put in this uh, board at the top so we can nail, I don't know if you can see that in the video. We've got this nailer board here so we can staple all the wires and keep them organized and have them secured, which you have to have them secured within, I think, 12 inches of the panel anyway, um, where we're at. Um, but the next thing we got to do is take our uh, utility knife and we're going to strip some of the insulation off of this service entrance cable, this aluminum wire. And we're going to uh, put our two legs here, our two black hot wires on the lugs on the side. This configuration has a center wire for the neutral, has an N noting that on the panel. And then we're going to have uh, our ground tie into this ground rod right over here. Whenever you're working with aluminum on an electrical panel, you're always going to want to use this product called Nolox. Actually, I think you're required to have it on there. What it's going to do, it's going to act as a conductor between the aluminum, which can expand and contract depending on temperature and the uh, voltage it's carrying. So you just put a little bit on the end there before you tighten it down. Then you want to tighten it down really hard too. You don't want that metal uh, expanding or contracting and coming loose and arcing inside your panel. So it's just this no locks. You can pick it up at like Home Depot, Lowe's, or any uh, like hardware store that sells electrical supplies. Um, yeah, so I'll show you how that gets put on right here. All right, we've got all of our aluminum conductors put in the panel. Um, we've got our two that are 120 volts each. We have our one leg that's black, black. Our one leg that's black with a red line. Those reach 120 volts there. And then our uh, black white is going to be our neutral, so our return path. And then we have our ground, which is right here. So we have our grounding strip, which is all where all the copper wires are going to land, uh, or all the, the bare copper wires from our Romex. And our whites are going to land on these two strips on the sides. And then our hots are going to be attached to the breaker on each one of these um, breaker bars, breaker buses. That's what we've done there. Now the next thing I'm going to do is get all these, uh, using these Romex connectors, I'm going to attach all these Romex, these different lines running throughout the house, uh, into the panel. There's little knockouts here, and uh, we're going to knock those out, these Romex connectors put in, and uh, then start stripping and landing some of those runs. There's a couple different options for stripping the wire. Um, what I'm going to do for these, I've got these Romex strippers that actually have a notch that fits perfectly over the Romex. See the shape of that Romex? It's got those three wires in it. That shape just goes around it and then can just score it and then it'll come right off. If you don't have a set of these, you can just use a razor blade too. Cut it down the center and then do a slight line on both sides and that insulation will come off there. And then you see these are like the smoke alarms. This is the uh, home run for the smoke alarms. I just on it with a permanent marker right on each run what it is. I'm going to save that piece too. So that little part that will break off if I score it enough. And then after I put it back in the panel, I'll keep that on it so that people always know what circuit this is.
All right, so now that we have all of our wires in the panel, um, they're all stripped and I've retained these labels so I know which circuit goes where. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is put all of these bare um, copper wires without insulation, all these ground wires, I'm gonna mount them right here on this grounding bar. Um, and so to do that, I just loosen this screw. I'm gonna cut it off. I'll just put a little 90 bend in that copper. I'm just gonna stick it right in there. So first of all, I'll do that with all these copper ones, try and separate them out from the black and white and red wires. And uh, yeah, put those all on there. Now that we have all of our grounding done, all of our bare copper ground wires are, have been landed on these bars on the side, these grounding bars, now it's time to get our neutrals put in the panel. So we're going to land all of our neutrals on these two inner bars. Yeah, and these are the ones that are connected to this black and white neutral that we ran back to our meter. So this actually um, splits back, goes back behind there and has a bar on both sides. So it's, don't get those two confused. The grounding bar is actually hooked directly to the panel, so the entire metal frame of the panel is grounded, but these neutrals are uh, hooked into the wire heading back to the meter. So we're going to do the same thing, just like with the neutrals, we're just going to, with the grounds I mean, we're going to strip the white wire, put a 9D in it, and set it down with those screws. Well, we've got the panel done here. This is the Square D 200 amp 30 40 space panel. And um, yeah, we've got just, I'm going to run through quickly everything we did to get this panel up and going. Um, we've got all of our grounds landed on these two sidebars here on the very outer sidebars, which are mounted directly to the uh, metal housing of the panel. So this whole panel is going to be grounded. Um, and then everything, all these wires coming in here, these main wires here run back to the meter. Um, all of our neutrals from every circuit that we ran is, has then landed on these neutral bars. That doesn't necessarily mean all of the white wires because some of these whites are being kept to put on the breakers for like an arc fault breaker if your state requires that. Uh, also, if you're running like a like an electric heater or something that requires 220 volts, you're going to use the white and the black to provide that 220 and you don't need a neutral for that, depending on how you run it. So in those cases, we've, I've left those off. Um, and then all of our blacks and reds, all of our 120 volts uh, lines are going to be just left here until we get the power turned on and then we'll be putting in individual breakers on these bars. Uh, to power up some temporary power and temporary lighting to, so we can finish the project. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's how it works. Thanks for watching the video, and uh, I'll see you next time.